Two. You hold it on. Oh my gosh, Robin! Good morning, guys. I am going to get Robin. She's awake. All these boxes are driving me crazy. It's like really, really bad. And I think it's coming into the house as well because look at this mess. Oh, so I'm gonna get tidying. I need to get outside and get my hanging baskets in before they blow away. And then get the kids for a nap. <laughs> Storm Desmond, I found out that's the name of our storm that's hit uh, our town at the moment, is raging outside. The kids are having a blast inside and they're playing with all toys that my aunt sent down that her son no longer plays with, Peppa Pig toys. Um, so they're having so much fun. So good, Baba. Nice.
Okay, we're going to do it this way. See. Oh my god, be Robin, be careful. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! No, 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 buddy. What's going on, Obi? You gonna do it again? <laughs> Where's Robin? No! <laughs> oh. Okay, give me your hands. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Jeannie Mac girl, Robbie! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Is it Obi's turn? <laughs> It's still Obi's turn. <gasps> what do you do? Are you ready? No, Obi. You ready? Holy genie mackerel. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Do some weight lifting. Ready? One, two. Oh. <laughs> okay, lie straight. <laughs> Put your arms down by your side. Go really straight. <laughs> I'm going to kiss your back. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fall back. <laughs> Desmond has hit us and it is very bad out there. Um, my sister should have been babysitting across the road and they cancelled. <coughs> but she'd already come down here to wait for to go over there so she's with us at the moment so I've just rent her a nice bubble bath so that's what she's having because at my house my parents took out the bath so there's just like a walk-in shower so she enjoys a bath when she can get one with us So it is quite stormy out there. I'm going to have to go out and fix the shed because the door is There's Morgan fixing the door. If you remember, um, maybe a year ago, just over a year ago, we had that really bad storm that knocked a tree down in our back garden. So. This is not great weather. He's wearing his Santa hat. It's like Santa to the rescue. Peppa Pig. Mr. and Miss Kangaroo have come to visit Peppa and her family. Mr. Kangaroo cooks everyone lunch on the barbecue. The friends play the jumping up and down game. Kangaroos are very good at jumping. Kylie jumps very high. 
Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping up and down. It is lunchtime. Peppa likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. Yum. The end. See, that's only a short one. Okay, you ready? This is the story about the cat and Christmas. Okay. One day, Mog woke up and nothing was right in her house. Everybody was busy. Debbie was busy. Nikki was busy. Mr. and Miss Thomas were busy. And there were too many people in the house. There was a jolly uncle and two aunts on tippy toes. Mog thought, I don't like it here. She went and sat outside on the windowsill. There was nothing to do and no one to play with. So after a while she went back to sleep. Suddenly she woke up. She saw something. It was a tree. It was a tree walking. Mog thought, trees don't walk. Trees should stay in one place. Once trees start walking about, anything might happen. She ran up the side of the house in case the tree should come and get her. Come down, shouted the tree. Come down, Mog. First it walks, thought Mog, and now it's shouting at me. I do not like that tree at all. And she ran right up to the roof. The tree went on shouting for a while, then it went into the house. Mog stayed on the roof. Some white things fell out of the sky. Some fell on the roof, and some fell on Mog. They were very cold. At supper time, Mog was still on the roof. She must have her supper, said Debbie. Mog always has her supper. Miss Thomas gave Mog her supper, but still Mog did not come down. In the morning, Mog did not come down either. She had found a nice tall place and she was asleep. She was having a lovely dream. Mog dreamed that she was sitting in a cloud. Some white things were falling out of the sky. Mog tried to catch them. She was very happy, but suddenly the cloud began to melt. Inside the house, everyone was sad because Mog would not come down. They were too sad to eat their breakfast. Even the jolly uncle was sad, and one of the ants cried. Suddenly, there was a noise. It was a noise in the chimney, and then something came down it. It came right down the chimney and fell into the fireplace with a thump. It's Father Christmas, cried one of the ants. No, dear, said the other ant. Father Christmas does not have a tail. Debbie cried, it's Mog. Mog fell down the chimney. Mog had to have a bath. But then, then everything was lovely. The whole house was lovely. The tree had stopped walking about and had made itself all pretty. And Mog had three boiled eggs and some turkey and a present to unwrap. Happy Christmas, Mog, said Debbie. The end. Well done. Kiss for Dada. Yeah, night night. Can I have a kiss on my cheek? And can I have a kiss on my nose? And can I have a kiss on my head? And Daddy give you a kiss. Where'd you want Daddy to kiss you? Um, Mwah. Love ya. Night night. I see you tomorrow.
Ah. <laughs> Was that a bat?